Welcome to Mountain View, Arkansas. This area was settled in the early 1870s. As the story goes, a group of citizens got together, voted, and came up with the name Mountain View, which kind of makes sense considering it's surrounded by the Ozark Mountains. Shortly after Mountain View became the county seat for Stone County, a community began to grow up around a small log courthouse. A couple of noteworthy folks that came from the Mountain View area include musician Jimmy Driftwood, who wrote the song Battle of New Orleans, and Louis Marshall Jones, better known as Grandpa Jones, who was a regular on Hee Haw and the Grand Old Opry. Just north of Mountain View on Highway 5, you'll want to make sure to check out Melon's Country Store. It has a little bit of everything, so you're sure to find something to suit your fancy. In the front of the store, you'll notice a guidepost. That was how travelers knew the direction and how far it was to the next city. You'll also notice an old gravity gas pump. This style gas pump was first used in the very late 1800s. A gas station attendant would pump the amount of gas a person wanted into the glass dome at the top, and then he'd put the handle into the gas tank and gravity did the rest. Back then, gas cost around 19 cents a gallon, but before you complain, realize adjusted for inflation that 19 cents a gallon would be $6.03 a gallon today. So back then, 19 cents a gallon was pretty expensive. Expensive. Check out this cool selection of old-timey toys. They even have the old tin tops that you pump the handle to make them spin. And check out this neat old-fashioned Coca-Cola cooler that's still working. You open the lid, grab a Coke, and open it with the bottle opener. And what's an old-fashioned general store without gasoline signs? Just a bit further north of the general store is the Dulcimer Shop, also known as McSpadden Mountain Dulcimers. For over 65 years, the musical artisans of the Dulcimer Shop have been manufacturing dulcimers, hammer dulcimers, auto harps, and much more. They are all handcrafted with love. Store employee Dwayne Potterfield played a song for us on the dulcimer. It's an old folk song called Red River Valley. Next, the store owner, Tim Grothen, took us on a short tour of where they make and assemble their handmade dulcimers. We, uh, we make them up 12 at a time in a cart, basically, so I mean, it's sort of mass production, but each one is still individually handled at each time. So, so when you're in a, uh, a position where you want to do some sanding, you can sand this one and then you sand the next one. It's like, so, you know, yeah. but you know, we still consider them each individually hand built. And then we have the frames. And then we glue the frames up to the tops and the back. We have three more rooms in the back that we make parts in. Uh, this this uh, this room is kind of our assembly room, where people can see through our windows. Uh, they can watch us making them. So whether you enjoy playing the hammer dulcimer, the shepherd's harp, or any number of other old-time stringed instruments, make sure you stop by McSpadden Mountain Dulcimers when you visit Mountain View, Arkansas. Our next stop is Arkansas's historic Swinging Bridge built in 1914. It was part of the first road built through the Ozark National Forest, later known as Big Flat Sillimore Road. In the 1940s, the bridge became part of State Highway 14, and believe it or not, it was reworked to meet the old state standards for a highway. You can only imagine how narrow it must have been prior to the rework. Over the decades, the swinging bridge over Sillimore Creek was a favorite meeting place for local families. During the summer, they used the beautiful area around the bridge for picnics, family reunions, swimming, fishing, fireworks, baptisms, and as a place where young folks would go to park. Next, we head to beautiful Blanchard Springs Waterfall and Cavern. Over millions of years, rainwater falling on the Ozark Mountains soaked into the limestone and over time caused cracks in the stone, eventually forming Blanchard Springs Cavern. 
The cavern stayed filled with water until millions of years of erosion carved out a valley and allowed the water to escape. This is what gave us the beautiful Blanchard Springs waterfall emerging out of Blanchard Springs caverns. Originally, the water fell from the top of the mountain, then from the dark cavern you see in the middle of the mountain. However, as the limestone continued to crack and the water level dropped, eventually the water started exiting the cavern where it does today. In addition to water, the cavern is filled with bats. The water is rich for agricultural purposes because of the waste and the decaying remains of dead bats. However, it is not safe to drink. Just a bit further down the stream is Mirror Lake Dam. It was constructed in 1940 by the Civilian Conservation Corps. Not only does it provide fantastic fishing opportunities, but with the water being protected from the wind, it creates a beautiful mirror image of the trees and mountains around it. Just down the creek from the Mirror Lake Dam are the remains of the old Mitchell Mill. From 1900 until 1928, owner Steve Mitchell ground corn and ginned cotton for area farmers. As you head back toward Mountain View, you'll encounter an amazing country store that's so much more than just a store. The Trading Post is a step back in history. The building was the old Pogue homestead from the late 1800s. The cabin had four rooms in which the Pogue family raised an amazing 12 children. Over the years, the cabin had fallen into a state of disrepair and was being used for storage. The owner of the trading post, Denisa Mollett, bought the cabin and land 33 years ago, remodeled it, and turned it into the general store it is today. In addition to the general store, the trading post also offers trail rides. You can go on an afternoon trail ride, or for an incredibly reasonable price, you can go on the overnight trail ride. You'll head out on the horses, have a steak dinner, sleep in tents, get up the next morning where the cookie will have breakfast ready, and then you'll head back to the trading post. Thanks for watching Any Way You Travel Arkansas. I hope you enjoyed your visit to Mountain View, Arkansas. We looked at where some dulcimers were made, some great shopping, and of course, Blanchard Springs National Park. Listen, when you're heading through Arkansas, make sure you set aside a day to come to Mountain View, Arkansas and enjoy all the beauty. Also, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and hit the notification button. That way you'll never miss a video from any way you travel Arkansas. Join us again when we'll go somewhere else amazingly beautiful in the natural state of Arkansas.